Let's now go in the DJI Fly app and take a look at the app working with this drone. First the arrow button on the right hand side shows you what images and videos you've already taken. So let's press that and here we're loading the videos that are on the drone. If I pick one of them out, which is say the one here, we click on that and then we'll take a look at this video. Now if I want to delete it, you'll see there's a bucket down on the left hand side. I'll press that and I've deleted that video. So that's how you get in to look at what you've taken and what's on the card. Now let's take a look at the images and the photo. So I've pressed on the photo. It was at 48 megapixel. Let's press on the single image and you'll see the various shots that you can get. The master shot is a culmination of different shots. But there's quick shot, there's hyperlapse, there's pan panorama, AEB's auto um, exposure bracketing. So it takes three photos at different exposures and then that combines them. So let's go back to the single. Uh, there's the time shot, so you can press the timer and it'll take a f uh, an image 15 or 10 seconds after you've actually pressed the shutter button. You can now click on the bottom and look at the exposure value at the bottom. You can change the format to JPEG and RAW or just JPEG. And if we press the button from Auto to Pro, you'll see now we have all the manual settings. So I've clicked on the shutter speed and I can change the shutter speed on the uh, camera. I can go press the Pro and go back to Auto and it's come back on Auto. And now we're back on Pro again. And if I click on the um, ISO now, or one of the setting buttons at the bottom. You'll see I bring up the white balance, the format, the size of the image. Now this is an issue with this drone. When it's sat on the deck for a short period of time, it overheats and it turns itself off and you get this black and white screen. So now I've just powered it back on again. And on top right, you'll see there 41% left on the battery. and We've got 16 satellites. Now I click on the bottom to adjust the white balance between 5600 and 6400 K. 5006 is a dull day, 6400 is a bright day. It is better to set the white balance manually rather than using auto. And let's look at the ISO now. We can change the ISO in the bottom section as well. Next let's click on the menu that has the three dots which gives us five subheadings. So there's information about the drone, there's information about the transmission and the camera, also the control, and finally the safety. Under this heading you can look at the maximum distance the drone can fly away from you. But they are very sensitive and can go to quite large numbers. The maximum we can fly away from us in the UK is 500 metres. Let's take a look at some more camera features. So on the right hand side you'll see the digital zoom there, one and two, and back out to one. Then above it is the portrait and landscape. Then we can look at the manual and autofocus. So you can manually focus or autofocus the with using the center. You can see the yellow focus square in the center. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.